Good morning, Wilcox. Welcome back to Hounds TV. We're your host, Ty and Austin, and we are pumped to release our fourth video of the year for you. In our first new segment, we wanted to give a playoff update. Our midget AAA Hounds had two massive games over the weekend. Our juniors started their series in S Van with two big games as well. And finally, our female AAA kicked off their playoffs with a late game on Friday night against Saskatoon. The Red and Whites have been respectful and have had great feedback. Great work, Hounds. Keep coming out and supporting. In our next segment, we are going to give it off to Luke and Kale for Hounds on the Street in Wilcox and in Penticton as Kale is down there with his team for playoffs. Take it away, boys. Wheels or doors? Wheels. Wheels for sure. Wheels or doors? Wheels. 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 Doors. Wheels. 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 Are there more doors or wheels in the world? Wheels. Wheels. Wheels, definitely. Think about all those Hot Wheels. Definitely more, more wheels in the world. Thanks for everyone's answers. Back to Ty and Austin at the desk. Thanks for that, boys. I'd have to go with wheels because there's so many cars and semi-trucks. What, what do you think, Ty? I think there has to be more wheels in the world. All the hot wheels, cars, rolling office chairs, there's got to be way more wheels than doors, I think. Dave will now take it over for his staff interview of the week. Hello again, my name is David DeVoe. I'm here with this week's edition of the staff interview, and today I'm here with... Kaylee Johnson. How long have you worked at Notre Dame, and what have you learned in your time here? This is my fifth year working at Notre Dame and I have learned that I really like teaching because when I was in university, I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it. Yeah. I quite do. As a coach of the girls' double-A team, how did you feel about the season that day? It was good. We didn't go as far as we would have liked in playoffs because we lost out in the first round. We had a very young team. We had a lot of great tens on our team this year. I think with COVID, a lot of them hadn't played a true season since Banta May. Um, so given all of that, I think we did good. What are your kind of hobbies outside of the school? I like to do things outside. Yeah. So I have two dogs. I like to take my dogs on hikes or go camping. And I really like to garden at my house in Weyburn. If you could travel any in the, anywhere in the world for free, where would you go and why? What it's called, I think it's maybe somewhere near Greece, but it's like the little walkways that go out into yeah. the ocean with those little hut cabana things. But that's where I'd go. Yeah. It looks nice. Do you plan on going there anywhere anytime soon? Or? Not anytime soon. We're in a <laughs> pandemic still. Get real. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this has been this week's edition of the staff interview. Now back to Ty and Austin at the studio. Thanks, Dave, for that. Next up, our ice climbing trip. The trip will take place from March 31st to April 4th and has room for 10 students. Priority is given to grade 12s and 11s, but it is open to all students to get into it. Bolak and Lisa have taken many groups around the country and the world on great adventures. If you have the opportunity to apply and go, I definitely recommend it. This is an amazing trip and makes for some incredible memories with your friends. Next up will be Connor with Christ with Cruz. <laughs> Welcome Hounds to another episode of Christ with Kruger. I'm Connor O'Keefe and this is Rob Kruger. And we're gonna start out, start out with the sign of the cross. You gonna pick one? Yeah. Let's start, let's do the Welsh one. Ooh, this one's kind of tricky. You wanna repeat after me? Yeah. In Enor Tad. In Enor Tad. Aramab. Aramab. Ar Isbred Glan. Ar Isbred Glan. Yeah, fantastic. All right. So uh, the other day you were talking about uh, prayer for Ukraine. Right. After lunch, what time is it at exactly? Yeah, like it, it's it's you know obviously it's a very unfortunate thing happening in our world today, but one of the little things we can do um, at one o'clock every day we have a sixty second prayer. It's uh, you know you're on the way to period four. If you can kind of pop in once in a while, it's it's appreciated and prayers do work. So every day one o'clock in the church. Yeah, it's only a minute of your day you can make it. All right, and then 
you know, hockey season is coming to an end for some teams. Some right. teams have playoffs, but right. there are some other sports. Do you want to talk about baseball? Yeah, okay, so lots up in the air. You know, a lot of it is going to kind of hinge. We're still kind of putting our schedule together. You know, we have teams that might be playing late in May, so we're kind of trying to be flexible. But if you are interested in playing baseball or softball, Saturdays at 11 o'clock in the morning, that's when we have our evaluations and our tryouts. So come out Saturdays at 11 o'clock, baseball and softball. Thank you. Yep. All right, and then let's finish off with the Bible verse of the week. Okay, so here's the one that I sent out Thursday morning. This is from Matthew chapter 6, verse 3. When you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. What this is telling us is, dear God, no matter how many virtues we may have, let us retain a spirit of humility and modesty. Great everyday lesson. Be humble and modest every day. I think that's a great verse. All right, see you on the next episode. Thanks for that awesome interview, Connor. Now we're off to the top 10 plays of the week with Ivan and Corbin. clips there. Good work to everyone who cracked the top 10. If you have any suggestions for next week, shoot us an email. Now we will turn it over to Keegan for Within Two Trees. Yeah. Thanks Ty and Austin for the introduction. And welcome back Hounds to another episode of Within Two Trees. I'm your host Keegan Merriman and with me today I have Ryan Parrott and Peyton Evans who helped captain the Midget AAA girls team this year. So guys, why don't you tell the Hounds a little bit about yourself. I'm Ryan Parrott, a three-year hound from Calgary, Alberta. I'm Peyton Evans, two-year hound, also from Calgary, Alberta. And you guys are both playing NCAA Division I hockey next year. Can you guys tell us where you're going and how excited you are? Um, I'm very excited. I'm going to St. Louis to play at Lindenwood University and I'm taking pre-dentistry program. I'm also very excited. I'm off to Boston to play Merrimack College, and I'm taking the health science program. That is exciting. Um, and why are you guys here today on the show? Talk about playoffs. <laughs> big time, big time. And how has your season gone so far up to this point? Um, it's gone really good. We've played a lot of tough hockey. Um, it's been a lot of fun, though. That's good. And who are you guys playing in the first round? Saskatoon Stars. And has your record been pretty good against them so far? Uh, yeah, it's been very good. It was 5-0. and that is pretty good. And how do you guys think you've been preparing off the ice, on the ice, through these past couple weeks for the playoffs? Um, we've trained hard on and off the ice. Um, we've also been preparing like it's just another game. And Craig has been pushing us. So you guys are pretty confident in your group right now? Yes, we're pretty confident. Super excited to play on Friday. 7.30, be there. 7.30 at the dunk tank. 
Um, and another last question here. You guys have an Instagram account you've been running throughout the year called Spound Town. Follow if you want. Um, do you guys think that'll be a distraction going into playoffs? Um, all season it hasn't once been and never will be a distraction, so go follow. Okay, okay. And with that ends another segment of Within Two Trees. I'm your host, Keegan Merriman, and my guests today on the show were... Ryan Parrott. Peyton Evans. See you later, hounds. And back to Ty and Austin at the desk. Great interview there, Keegs. Finally, we wanted to bring to light our guest speaker we had on Tuesday. His name was Laurent. Everyone really enjoyed him. He was a great public speaker with great ideas and thoughts. He made some great points about meals and when and what to eat at certain times to keep energetic and be the best version of yourself. He also talked about sports and how to prepare for them, eating habits and mental pre game preparation. He talked about his road to the Super Bowl championship and how ups and downs define a person. You may get knocked down, but it's how you respond to it. It was a great time to learn new things about our health, especially for a couple of our teams battling in playoffs. It was a great hour of learning, and everyone was very happy with this presentation. Thanks, Laurent. Thanks for tuning in to our fourth episode. Tune back in next week for some more Hounds TV content. That's all from us here. I'm Ty. And I'm Austin. Have a great week, Hounds.